Everything starts with a dream, and probably a meeting. When it comes to the French Pastry School of Kennedy King College at City Colleges of Chicago, though, the dreams are of chocolate and the meetings are about ways to turn chocolate into the things dreams are made of. I am Jackie Pfeiffer, the co-owner of the French Pastry School in Chicago. We created um, a foundation called the For the Love of Chocolate Scholarship Foundation for the ones who want to join the uh, profession of pastry but need a helping hand. The French Pastry School is all about helping people realize their aspirations. It may be to become a pastry chef. It may be to learn how to create something amazing. It may be about changing their life and their circumstances. That's where the For the Love of Chocolate event comes in. I'm Franco Pacini with the French Pastry School. We're raising money for For the Love of Chocolate Foundation and all of the dollars go for tuition dollars for Kennedy King College and our particular programs with Kennedy King College of City College of Chicago. The idea is let's raise funds so that people who are underprivileged or at-risk children through the Chicago public school system can actually afford to come to our wonderful programs. The For the Love of Chocolate event is our annual event. It's a crazy event. We have 60 chefs making food, and we have 30 chefs dressing models with chocolate. As in all dreams, For the Love of Chocolate has touches of whimsy, never more apparent than in the fashion show. And it's a chance for those who have accomplished their goals, achieved their ambition, to give a little back. My name is Michael Washer with Jewel Events Catering in Chicago, Illinois. Franco has been asking me for many years to uh, help out with the For Love of Chocolate, and uh, this is the first year that I've actually had the opportunity to uh, be involved with work. As a company, we wanted to use this as a team building experience, uh, so what we did was we have, uh, there's eight of us who have uh, taken on this uh, project, and we're using the inspiration for the dress for uh, Mr. Jewel's love of peacocks that he has on his uh, summer home, um, and that's what we did here. Never forgetting the chocolate. We're going to make the chocolate teardrops for the outside of the dress. We're going to use cocoa butter, color, chocolate, and our template. We have different mediums of chocolate and gum paste. What we have here is yellow, and then the red. And then we have different sizes for different parts of the dress. And then these are different ideas as well. We have this one, which is very large. And this will give the, the feathers some movement so the dress won't be so stiff. So at this point, we put the chocolate in the refrigerator for a short time. And what happens, the chocolate constricts from the plastic and it just peels right off. The chocolate decoration with the design that we wanted on top. We're very excited to, uh, about the event. There, there's a lot of things that, even though we have our daily work that we have to do, um, the extra time and effort that's involved uh, amongst uh, all of us who are working on the project, we feel very gratified. And this is a small part of what we can do to give back to uh, the community. Others get into the fashion show too, with months of preparation leading up to the event. I'm Mindy Viamensis and I work with Muller & Muller Architects. We had a connection already through the French Pastry School um, and Franco kindly asked us to join. So we're the only non-chefs participating in this event. So we decided to do a coffee themed dress. So our skirt um, and top that's on the table is all made out of coffee filters which we have dyed in Kool-Aid, so cherry, grape, and orange Kool-Aid. 
We paired with Intelligentsia. They've been great, so we hooked up with their marketing department over there um, and was able to secure a lot of their bags. So the Philly stuff that you see on the bottom of the dress um, is all Intelligentsia, which they've got the bright blue and then the red, so you can see that also on the mask as well. This was kind of a little bit of a surprise. Halfway into the process, we had been working with a model um, and she had something come up with work, so she was no longer able to model. Um, and the dress happened to fit me, so it was perfect. And I think that it turned out the way it did because I was modeling it and because I had a day-to-day -day interaction with it. It was something that I was ultimately gonna wear. It sort of became my own personal passion of mine, so a lot of hours have gone into this. Meanwhile, back at the French Pastry School, the planning continues, including other partnerships to help pull off this massive event. I'm Sébastien Cannon, co-founder and uh, dean of faculty and programs of the French Pastry School. Well, with the success of our program, we wanted to uh, continue our mission and help uh, people that were not so fortunate. So we created uh, this foundation for Kennedy King College and for our students to benefit from our program specifically the After School Matters program and uh, Chef Gloria F. Heffer who's been a fantastic teacher, you know, teaching uh, the people in the program how to um, really be professionals. And when it comes to giving back, it goes full circle. Even in the event planning, the French Pastry School takes into account ways it can help make a difference. We are part of the American Culinary Federation in Windy City chapter of that affiliation and myself and Gloria Haffer are both members. I first met Gloria as part of the Windy City chapter and so when I got to understand what all of her mission was with After School Matters and all of the children that she's helped through that program with the Chicago Public School System, specifically here on the southeast side of Chicago, I thought this is a perfect way for us, the French Pastry School, to be able to give back to the society, Chicago in general, and even help them make it to the French Pastry School. It was geared toward taking kids after school and giving them something positive for them to do, other than obviously the negative uh, factors that are out there. We made this partnership where we work side by side. When there were projects and opportunities, he would call upon me to participate. When I asked him about this one, why did, of all the culinary schools in all the world, Casablanca, did you select our program? It was in the fact that he blatantly said that we know that you are responsible, we know you will get the job done, we know your kids are great kids, after school matters, matters to him and to the city, and we're going to showcase this to let people know the positive side of the teens in Chicago making a difference in their lives. Oh boy, it sounds like this dream is pretty big. While companies and people all over are busy creating their fashion show items, their displays, and their delicious samples for the event, this school group has been handed an assignment like nothing you've ever seen. Just wait till you see what all of the means all of the planning, and yes, all of the dreaming can create. Did I say it starts with a dream? How about a bean? Our next segment is right out of a fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> 